So this is a piece of technology that was developed for World War II. This is actually a radar uh, direction finding beacon that was used by the OSS and by Allied Airborne units actually to mark drop zones for resupplies so aircraft can find them. It sends out radar pulses it's about 15 to 30 miles away that you can pick up and then guide to within about two miles of the drop zone where you would look for si uh, visual signals on the ground like burning burning signals and shapes and flags thrown on the ground or different prearranged signals. So it's a transmitter power supply box that actually has batteries you would fill with water when you landed on the ground and it has a self-destruct built into it too in case it's ever captured. The OSS would use these to mark uh, drop zones at night for resupply drops for the resistance. Um, but it was they didn't like to use it too awful much because it was very easily uh, direction, it was very easy to find because it's a beacon, it's meant to be found. So they didn't really like to use it as much, but allied airborne units would actually develop something called pathfinder teams, which were small teams of uh, paratroopers that would jump into an area first to set up the drop zone for the main arrival of people. And that's what they used for this. And it was very effective on D-Day for getting all the troops to St. Eric Lease. And actually this piece of equipment greatly contributed to the success of the overall invasion.